Hello everyone. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to work with layers and explain you the logic behind it. So, first things first, layers are important. They are essential for managing complexity, improving performance, and maintaining a clean, efficient workflow. Long story short, it speed ups our workflow. Really, trust me. So, where to find layers? By default, you have a toggle layer explorer button. When you click on it, uh, you will see the scene or layer explorer window floating somewhere in your 3ds Max. The other option is right click on an empty space right here and click on layers. And you will see this toolbar, floating toolbar. You can simply move it somewhere here or any other place. That's not important. Uh, what's the difference between them? This one is a compact mini version of your layers. It will show you only the name of the layer you work on. And this one is basically it shows you everything. Everything you have in your scene, you will see right here with names, type of an object, etc. When it comes to me, I prefer working with this version. So I'll just uh, delete this toolbar. I'll right click once again and I need to find layers. Boom, deactivated. And this part I want to move because I don't like any floating windows in 3ds Max. So I simply drag and move it somewhere here. And I try to, yes, this is what I need. When you see the comment panel lighting up as a gray, you can drop your layer explorer right here. What it will give you. Right now, I have two tabs. I have my layers and I have a common panel and I can simply move them because usually we create something, then we rename something and then we work with layers. So I have two tabs here. This tab will be active when this toggle layer explorer button is on, when it's blue. If you will turn it off, you will not see this tab. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do we have here? Right here at the left side, you have lots of different signs and everything is active. Don't change anything. This is basically a display of different types of an objects in 3ds Max. So that's all good. We need all them. That's fine. Uh, right here, you will see all of your layers. Currently, in this scene, we have only one default layer. Mention, you can never delete or rename this zero layer. Just take it as is. It will on, always exist in 3ds Max. How to create a new layer? You click on the plus right here, create new layer. It will automatically offer you to name your layer, but I will skip this step for now. I'll show you how to rename it after. For example, I need, I don't know, two, three more layers. Let's do that. One, two. Three. Okay. What's the difference between them? And what do we have? We have this white triangle, not next to every layer. What is this? This shows, if I click on it, all of the objects located on the layer. So these three, they are empty. That's why I don't see any triangles here. Then we have an eye. If I click on the eye, everything will be gone. No panic, no stress. This is how you hide your layers. And automatically, all of the objects that located on it will be hidden, of course. You just click on your eye again, and boom, everything is back to normal. And next one is a sign three squares or like stack of papers. Uh, it means that this layer is active. When you click on this symbol, you automatically move to another layer. You can imagine as, uh, I don't know, you have a three-store building and currently you, you on the first one. So you have this sign on. When you move to the second one, you have this sign on. So this how you activate specific layer. Then... We have names. As I already mentioned, you cannot rename the default layer, 
but you can rename and organize all of the new ones. How to do that? Left click on your layer, so it will be light up as a blue one. Then right click, rename. Uh, what about the hierarchy of layers? Each has own preferences. It's not super strict. I will explain you my logic. So first layers for me, usually technical ones. If we have a layout plan of furniture, I don't know, or I don't know, anything else, electricity, etc. Or if we have um, cameras, I simply go first with such things. Let's start with numbers because then we can sort our layers from one to never ending number. So it will be one zero zero, for example, cameras, because we don't have any DVG in here. Then what I want to do, sometimes I want to hide my ceiling, for example. I move to another layer. You can double click. If you double click with the pose, it's also rename of your layer. But if you double click fast without the pose, this is how you can easily select everything located on this layer. That's very convenient, trust me. Try it. So, usually cams, then we have, for example, light. Then I have ceiling that's not connected to my like first technical layers. So I change the number and it will be ceiling. For example, if I have different levels of ceiling, I just simply add it to the name like ceiling, for example, base or general. And then I'll create a new layer and it will be same first number but different number here because that's a different layer it will be ceiling interior for example and so on how to move objects to another layer you select everything you want to move for example ceiling now then you need to activate specific layer and you click on this button add to active layer moved how do i know that bam i see triangle and also i can just click on the eye hide my layer and see that everything is moved i see interior ceiling okay i will select it activate another layer move and hide then what do we have here new layer walls when i change the main object and main subject of a layer for example when you move from the ceiling to walls from walls to floor i change this first number walls can be also exterior interior or partitions it's up to you uh, the logic behind it if i let me move it double click on my layer and go to isolation mode, I see only walls and I can easily paint them in different materials. I can do something to them. I can modify them. That's very convenient. That's the logic behind these numbers. So let me hide it. Then what do we have? Doors, windows, for example, anything that's more or less located on walls. Let's say so. So I will create a new one. Doors. Select everything that I need. Activate layer. Move. Hide. Why I hide? So I make sure that everything is working properly. That I don't forget anything. Again, I see the frames here so just move okay then if we talk about architecture mostly interiors exteriors as well because we have basically same elements uh, from walls doors windows 
maybe skirtings or baseboards if you have cornies, if you have moldings. Uh, I would create like new layers. For example, molding baseboard plus cornies also kind of um, located on the walls. Then what I can do, I can create floor and move both of my floor. If you have different materials on the floor, you can also like separate them. But I usually just have one layer. Okay, then this is what we have, wall. Okay, this is wall. We have a furniture. Furniture is new thing, so furniture. If you see mistake, again, right clip, rename. You can split as well, like wooden furniture, soft furniture, uh, small, big, uh, or you can split by room. It's up to you. So you're a creative one here. You're the god of 3ds Max. Okay, furniture. This this i can move mm -hmm. cameras i will move to my camera and i have decorations and a wall lamp okay let's do the lamp first for example it will be lamps all of the lamps, actually, if I have floor lamps, wall lamps, pendant, channel ears, everything. But again, that's my logic. You might have your own. Feel free in this. And lastly, we have decorations. Usually it's last one, like decorations, people, plants, uh, like small things. So mainly, guys, you go from the most important, biggest parts to the smallest. Like, if you delete all of the decorations, you will still have entire apartment. But if you delete the walls, mm -mm, cannot be. So, this is my decoration. And move. Okay. What also can happen? I'll just unhide my level. If you locate it on active layer and you want to create a new one, this thing can happen. What is this? It's like folder inside of the folder. Your main layer can have small layers. What you can do with this, again, if it's convenient to you. For example, you have layer rooms. Inside of these rooms, you have kitchen, living room, dining area, like bedroom, etc. This is how you can work with this. If you don't like it, if you don't want it, and you want to move this one and make independent, not inside of another one. You just simply move it outside of the list. If you don't need it, you already know how to delete it. Right click, delete. Um, also, if you click on sort, you have a different sorting method. But usually I just follow numbers. That's why I use numbers. So I have everything from one to the last number. Basically, that's it. I hope this was useful and let me know if it worked for you. Thank you for your time and bye-bye.